We've been covering geology related news for a while now on the Osgeographics website, but I figured it was time that we started doing that on our YouTube channel. And what better way to do so than with the introduction of Earth's newest island. On October 30th, a submarine volcanic eruption occurred near Iwo Jima in the Pacific Ocean, leading to the formation of a new island. The event was first noticed by an aircraft from a Japanese newspaper, which observed the telltale signs of volcanic activity in the southern part of the Izu Ogasawara Arc, about 1200 kilometers south of Tokyo. The eruption was characterized by explosive interactions of magma with seawater, causing rocks and other materials to be ejected into the air and subsequently forming an island approximately 100 meters across to the north of the eruption site. The University of Tokyo researchers confirmed that the eruption had broken through the ocean's surface at multiple points. The volcanic activity caused the surrounding seawater to change colour, a common indicator of such events, and the surface of the newly formed island was covered with pumice. Pumice is a type of volcanic rock that is highly porous and light, typically created from violent eruptions that involve the rapid cooling and depressurization of lava. These types of eruptions, known as phreatomagmatic eruptions, occur when water interacts with hot volcanic materials like magma or superheated rock. The sudden cooling of the magma upon contact with water results in the solidification of volcanic materials. This process has been happening regularly in the region, causing Iwo Jima to rise annually by more than a metre, which is a significant rate of increase for a caldera volcano. Prior to the formation of the new island, a series of volcanic tremors were detected, starting from October 21st and leading up to the eruption. This pattern of seismic activity suggested an upwelling of magma from beneath the seabed, which ultimately led to the formation of the island. This process involves magma solidifying upon contact with seawater, creating a new landmass above the surface. The ongoing volcanic activity implies that additional material is continually being added to the island, which may help it resist erosion. The situation is similar to a previous eruption that took place in July of 2022 on the southeastern coast of Iwo Jima, which also resulted in the discharge of magma and phreatomagmatic explosions. The longevity of the new island is uncertain, as it depends on the duration of the eruptive activity and the rate at which volcanic material accumulates. There is a possibility that the island could eventually join of Iwo Jima if the eruptions continue, altering the landscape of the region. This type of volcanic activity has also led to unexpected historical discoveries, such as in 2021 when the raised seabed exposed sunken ships from the 1945 Battle of Iwo Jima. In conclusion, the recent submarine volcanic eruption near Iwo Jima underscores the dynamic and powerful nature of Earth's geological processes. The emergence of a new island is a stark reminder of the planet's ongoing evolution, sculpted by the forces of volcanism. This event not only adds to the complex geological history of the area, but also provides researchers with a unique opportunity to study the interactions between magma and seawater in real time. The island's future, whether it becomes a permanent feature or succumbs to the ocean's erosive forces, will depend on the persistence and intensity of the volcanic activity in the area. Regardless of its fate, this natural phenomenon continues to captivate scientists and the public alike, offering a tangible connection to the potent and often unseen forces that shape our world.